Chantel Leatherwood every week for three weeks. Um, for the first week, we went over and we reviewed camera functions, and so I could get the basic steps for the, for things I would learn later. Um, each week, she would give me assignments, and then the next week, she would review the assignments and give me feedback and tell me if I could do something else that would help my photography. Um, this is an example of one of my assignments that I got um, in the top left corner. So this assignment was to take pictures of the same subject using all my apertures. Um, the top one is the largest, which is a 4.5, and the bottom right is a 29. Another assignment was to take a picture in black and white. And then another one, which I didn't really like this one, but it's manual focus, because it's really annoying not having autofocus. <laughs> um, another one was vertical portraits. This one was definitely one of my favorites because I really enjoy taking pictures of people. Um, another one was horizontal landscapes. Uh, this one had a big thing because with Landscapes, you need to make sure you have the right lightings from example, if you're taking a picture of a sunset, you don't want just the sunset, you like really want the land because it adds really good texture and doesn't make it so bland looking. Um, the outcomes of this part was my abilities were definitely broadened and I have a much better understanding of this. Um, and overall, this was a really fun thing to study. I think that personally it was a fun experience, but there's other subjects that I am more interested in learning about. Okay, so the second half of my motion project, I did music with Kay Rafanovich. Um, having, with this, already having some exposure to Italian, French, and German, um, I want to expand my knowledge over classical music, especially foreign languages. My process was a thing that we use called the 12 steps to learning a new song. Um, we focused mainly on step two, and we worked through one through six using the song Ending Music. And I increased my exposure by attending recitals, recreams, and other, and a live HD performance of the Magic Flute at the Met. Um, this is the 12 steps to learning a new song. These are pretty much just what it seems. There are 12 key steps you use and that I use to learn a new song. So I'll walk you guys through these of what they are. So the first one is studying the score. So this has to do from things of knowing what meter you're in, what key you're in, how many levels of introduction, who the writer was, who the poet was of the poetry of the song, and when the song was written. Uh, step two is text. And this is listening to other people perform the song, speaking the text, knowing the meaning of the song and why you're singing the song, and then translating it and putting it into an IPA format. Step three is rhythm, clapping the rhythm of the melody. Step four is rhythm of the words, reading the words aloud with an accurate rhythm. Step five is melody, using number signs, you read the melody, so this means the number of each note, um, step six is more melody, which is singing the melody on a vowel of each word in the IPA format. Step seven is even more melody. Um, this has to do with singing the melody on a vowel of the word, song the vowel of the phonetic sounds of each word in the IPA. It's confusing. I will tell more about this in a second. Step eight is listening to the accompaniment. This is pretty much as far as it seems. Listen to an accompaniment and noticing uh, the intellectual experience expressions and rests and any other key notes that would make the song different than previous. Step nine is singing the song, uh, singing the melody on a single vowel with the accompaniment. Step 11 is memorizing the lyrics. And step 12 is communicating. 
meaning putting all your steps together. This can be from performing the song to just knowing the song. Um, for my song of choice, I did Andy Musk, which was written by Franz Schubert. Um, he was an Australian, uh, Austrian composer that wrote, wrote many different musical things that we know today. Um, he wrote things from secular works, to symphonies, to a large bodies of piano and chamber music. Um, so step two, this one is very big because this is like the base of what you will continue to learn. So the IPA is the International Phonetic Alphabet, and this is to where you basically, you write out the lyrics of the song, then you translate that into an IPA. The IPA was, is used to be able to, even if you don't already know the language or the song, you are able to pronounce everything in with all the phonetic sounds of the words. Then after you do that, you translate that into English, and then you translate it into what you personally think it means. Um, the outcomes of this is that I worked through one to seven, and while working on Andy Music. Um, over the summer, I am gonna continue working on this. And um, despite, I personally didn't realize how much time and effort and work it would take to actually do this properly. Because most of the times when I'm learning a new song, I have weeks, even months, to practice this. But within the three week time span, I didn't actually get to sing the song. Um, but I actually have an example for you guys of what I've previously worked on. Um, so yeah. Mm -hmm.